Hey, I'm troubleshooting a wind noise problem here in this Tesla Model X. It, uh, it's really quiet with the exception of one little area that I'm, I'm, I'm hearing some phantom noise. So a really long time ago, I developed a kind of a tape technique where usually what I do is tape the entire side of the car with electrical tape. Um, and then if it solves the uh, wind noise, then I take the tape off little bit by little bit and, and then once the noise comes back, I can put the tape back there and figure out exactly where the problem is. And so uh, the, the problem for me seems to be kind of in this area here. Um, and so just a, on a cursory inspection, one of the things I found was that the uh, kind of, there's a separation here between the, um, this rubber here and this, what I used to be called a wing window. And you could see this kind of cracked up. Can you see that really, really clearly? You see this kind of cracked up and I'm not sure, it doesn't really look like silicone, but it's some kind of a, it really feels like a hard glue. And it, and it's, and it, you can see that it's really easy to kind of peel this apart from this area here. Um, we can walk around here on the, on the other side in a second. Uh, but, and, and then there's another area here I wanted to show you, which is, you can see that there's a huge gap there maybe from this angle you can get it a little bit better like a really really big gap in here it's like almost a quarter of an inch and so I put tape here thinking that aha that must be the problem uh, and I didn't have a really good tape so I'm just using this tape and I put like little pieces here and um, we'll, we're gonna do another trick here in a second to show you but in the meantime what we'll do is come across come around the car and show what it looks like on the other side. And here it's just really solid. I mean, that, you know, they use some kind of adhesive and it's just super solid. It's just really like it's one piece. Um, so, okay, so th that I didn't think was the suspicious part, this, this kind of like flopping thing over there, but what, what we did this is hard to this is hard to troubleshoot while driving down the road you got cross winds and sometimes there is no wind and sometimes it's bad and so you know it's just really hard so we've come up with this technique we've got a compressor here and um so we've got this this thing we're just gonna have ryan my mechanical engineer who's also the cameraman here shoot air in the area where i'm hearing and then the idea is is that um you know um if we don't like what we're here we put a piece of tape over it and see if we can solve the problem we've already done this a little bit earlier and, and found out that this which doesn't really look all that bad is actually the problem but um, I'll show you something else here which is this here if we take a look at this it all of a sudden it kind of goes from round to flat right here and stays flat all the way to here and on the other side it doesn't look like that um, and so this is what I was thinking was the problem. I thought the problem was that this beaded thing here, which is supposed to be a bead, I'll close this here and you can see that it's just really kind of flattened. And we'll take a look on the other side and see that it, um, that it's pretty rounded almost the whole way. So here's the other side. It's it's round it's got this kind of nice rounded appearance all the way up into this area here where it's almost got to be you know it's got to be kind of i don't know you know I'll, i'm going to take a look at another tesla model x when i get to the tesla service center and see if this actually stays round all the way i don't think it does i think probably this is supposed to be round only from here to here and then from that point forward so when i saw this collapse thing on the other side aha that must be the problem it doesn't seem like that's the problem. So we'll do the experiment here. This could be a useful technique for anybody trying to find wind noise problems. So, um, got that little piece of tape, Ryan? Okay, great. So, uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'll take the camera now and um, show you what it sounds like when we hit the problem area. So you'll see Ryan here, and as soon as he gets up into that area, it's really pronounced, really super pronounced. Okay, and so um, unfortunately, it's in an area where we we can actually 
put the tape on without having to keep the window up, but we'll have Ryan just putting the tape right over that area, the seam, where the glue wasn't so great. And maybe one more piece kind of coming over into here the window can actually roll up into this. It doesn't really hurt it that it's overlapped. Usually I do this with uh, black electrical tape, but we happen to be out of black tape, uh, ironically, an electronics company out of black tape. But, um, so he's just kind of taping the whole thing up. And then we'll roll up the window and, and see what it sounds like now. So basically kind of no problem, right? Or sounds pretty consistent anyway. And one more time, we'll take the tape off and do that same maneuver. <laughs> Easier said than done. We'll do that same kind of sweeping motion, Ryan. And as soon as he hits that one area, it's just like it. It's just like a blast. Now the interesting thing is this. If I put my hand here and push against it, it's not good enough. So me trying to manipulate this thing while I'm driving is was not good enough. I thought it would be good enough. Like intuitively, you'd think, oh, you just push on the thing and it'll go away when you hit it. But it isn't, clearly. So this tape technique is very useful. Um, and, uh, and, it, and it definitely has located the problem in this case. So uh, I'll take this to the Tesla Service Center and have them do it officially. You know, I mean, probably this is something that Ryan and I could do we do this kind of thing all the time but uh, since the car is still under warranty I'll have them do this and um, and we'll have them uh, you know put their adhesive on it and just get a really good solution to this but uh, so so um, so I hope this video was uh, useful for you the kind of taping things up and uh, and if you've got a compressed air uh, gun like we have here it was, that was really helpful in in locating exactly where the problem is so that we can that we can go about taping it like I say usually what I have to do is tape the whole damn car and then take the tape off little bit by little bit and it's always kind of touch and go because is the wind blowing the right way yes or no so uh, yep so this is a good experiment and I hope it uh, hope it helps get Thanks. a can of air at Walmart if you don't have one yeah of these. get a can of air at Walmart how about that okay great <laughs>